lifestyle lovers welcome back to it's e lifestyle and if you are new here welcome my name is erica my channel is called it's e lifestyle and it's all about creating a good lifestyle okay lifestyle lovers so i just decided to do a day in the life video i mean just now because i'm also filming another video in which i am preparing for a business trip so part of having a good lifestyle is staying organized, hence the mess behind me. So as I was preparing for my business trip, I looked in my closet to kind of see, you know, what I, what I would want to take and wear on the business trip. And I just started pulling stuff out of the closet. As you can see, all of this stuff, it needs to be organized. It's not going to happen today, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys the result of just overbuying, overspending. So let me, cause I'm, I'm tired of holding this, holding this, um, I'm tired of holding this stand. So let me just get in a place where I can talk to you guys. Okay. Let me turn on some more lights. Some more lights. <laughs> Better. is that better okay so depending on how long you guys have been watching me I told you that I used to be like uh, a compulsive shopper so um, I don't do a lot of shopping now compared to I'll just say compared to the typical youtuber because if you watch YouTube like I watch YouTube these women on here, they shop. <laughs> they shop a lot. And um, I'm not going to say I'm a minimalist, but I used to do that. And this is just like the tip of the iceberg. I was just kind of looking for some stuff for my business trip and pull some stuff out. Some of that stuff I'm going to take to the Goodwill today. Some of it I forgot that I even had. But um, I have given away garbage bags full of purses garbage bags full of shoes garbage bags full of clothes um just this year and i still have a ton of stuff that i kind of need to purge and get rid of so you know once i started doing that i had decided that i do not want to be that person anymore you know you may go to the store you may see a pair of shoes you may like the shoes and they have them in three different colors you buy them in all three colors. <laughs> I used to be that girl, that woman. I don't want to be that woman anymore. I just want to have stuff in my closet that I really, really like, that I really, really love, and stuff that I'm wearing. And you know, to be honest, you can't wear it all. Well, I can only speak for myself. I can't wear it all. So I no longer want to do that. So um, I'm not going to organize all this stuff today. I'm not even going to lie. But I just wanted to kind of share a little bit of the process with you guys because i don't even have time to organize it today my sister is having a football party it's florida georgia weekend here in jacksonville so we have a big game down to the alltel stadium i won't be going but i will be attending a football party to her house so we're also going to do that today like i said it's just going to be a day in the life did you watch your face and brush your teeth water in it right now okay so why would you come get on camera and you ain't washed your face and brushed your teeth? Go away. That is gross. No, you don't. You wash your face and brush your teeth before you do anything in the morning. Okay? That's what I teach my kids. Baby, don't, don't, don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Let your face wash and your teeth brushed. So. Okay. So this is pretty much what I pulled out of my closet. As I stated, some of this stuff will be going back in. This is a ton of jewelry that I need to organize. Um, these are some boots that I forgot I had. Mookie, turn that TV down. I cannot hear. 
these are some boots that I forgot I had. Um, this is a pair of booties that I really don't wear heels like this anymore, but I still love these. So I'm not ready to part with them. They are in good condition. These is something that I'll throw away. As you can see, those are tearing up. And just those are empty boxes. I'll be throwing those away. Those are some clothes that I need to go through. These are some shoes that I will be taking on my business trip. And so, yeah, just like a ton of stuff that I don't need. But this is a result of over buying over a course of time. So, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead. Some of, some of these items I may try on for you guys because they're really, really cute. I may take a pair of these boot, boots on my business trip. I haven't decided yet, but whatever I do, I need to get done quickly. So, so lifestyle lovers, here is a pair of shoes that I absolutely forgot that I had. These are some black studded flats and they are still so cute. So I will be pulling these out. I may even take these on my business trip to have these in rotation. They're comfortable. I can't remember where I got them from, but they're not designer or anything. But they're still cute, honey. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So I just did a small mini closet clean out. I still have a whole lot of stuff to be done. But my goal is sometime next year, I want to do like a custom closet. It's not going to be anything fancy. It'll, it'll probably be Ikea custom simply because my closet is really small. And I've had like a closet uh, contractor come out. And I think they told me probably about three to $4,000. So I probably could get a similar look that they designed for me for half that cost from Ikea. So that's just what I'm going to do. But I just need to pull everything out to see what I'm going to keep and what I'm not going to keep. So kind of behind the scenes, what I've been doing, what you guys probably don't know, is I've been wearing... Well, right now I'm going through my dresses. So in my opinion, the quickest way to kind of decide what you don't need or you don't want is to wear it. So I've been wearing all my dresses with the exception of vacation dresses and club dresses because... I haven't been on a vacation and I haven't been to, you know, like a club, like something that I could not a club, but like a, something that I would not wear to work, you know, like a dressy dress. Um, so I've been wearing pretty much all of my work dresses because sometimes when you wear something that you haven't worn, just say like in a year or two and you put it on, you get a lot of compliments. You forgot just how good you looked in it and you decide to keep it. So I think that's kind of the best way to decide what you want is just to wear it. Sometimes you can wear it and you could be pulling on it all day. It's not comfortable. It's too tight. It may be too big. And you're like, okay, I wore this. I know I need to get rid of it. So, um, that's what I've been doing. So, my next step is to go through all of my pants. And then I'll do shirts last because I have more shirts than anything. And then I'll do pants, skirts, then shirts because I have more shirts in my closet than anything so shirts will be last but this is what i decide to keep so i like little shoes like this so i guess you would call this like a peep toe sandal booty these are made by steve matten and this is like a color kind of like an odd color so i don't wear heels like that anymore most of you guys know that but if i was to wear a heel, want to look a little sexy, it will probably be something like this. So I'm going to keep those. And then I think I showed you guys these. These are by BB. So these are the only two pairs that I've decided to keep with the exception of my boots. These are made by Vince Camuto. So I'll try these on so you guys can kind of see. These are also made by Vince Camuto. So I'm going to keep these. This is a peep toe as well. I'm going to take these to the Goodwill today. So 
you know, I probably wouldn't put on anything like these. These are made by Gianni Beanie. Still in really good shape. Um, here's a little crossbody bag from Victoria's Secret. This is going to the Goodwill. Uh, these will go to the Goodwill. These are very uncomfortable. So, uh, they definitely go on to the Goodwill. These are by Steve Madden. This is probably like a, maybe like a five inch heel. I would not wear anything like this today. So, Goodwill. And these are also going to the Goodwill. This is from Victoria's Secret. And I think the zipper is broke on one of these, but someone may want to repair it. That's a really, maybe like a $10 repair. So, and I probably would have kept them had the zipper not would have been broke, but I'm not, I'm not getting them repaired. And these are some sandals. You remember when these used to be in style, Lifestyle Lovers? They may still be in style. I don't know, but it's probably not anything that I would wear. Um, as a 42 year old woman, it looks like it's maybe something for a younger woman so these are by aldo still you know in really good condition it's a light color they're not dirty or anything those will also go to the goodwill so i'm gonna try these on i need to change my battery and my camera but i'm just gonna do like a little try on so you guys can see how some of these shoes will fit the ones that i'm gonna keep which is four pair two pair of boots two pair of sandals and then We'll move on with our day. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on a low. Trapping out a while. I can see the leaders doing as we talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me school. Nobody here but me and you. Got a little ring to it, turn a thing fluid in the coop. Why you look, I know it's real. I'm on my Marshawn shit. I've been really getting a feel. You know why I'm here, don't act like you don't know how I feel. But let me tell you what you mean to me Slide on me for that mean greet Vibe with me in the moonshine Sipping moonshine to the new sky Taste toasted and be raised soaked In the raincoat Hit the waves quota I be flossing I be locked in I was lost here All that turned me to a target Niggas plotting on me I be cautious Back then I was an adolescent Then I had a lesson I'm the man now I got fans now I'm on cam now I got plans now I'm finna branch out Grew up quick but never let go this year All of that bullshit is in my rear hey. Blue tin papers Blowing vapors Sweating traders Long hair killer in my villa, bitch, I made it Used to play the play, now I think we made it now She wanna lay me down, I'ma need you to hold me all the way down Hold it down for me, you say you down for me You say you, you say you hold it all the way down Hold it down for me, hold it down for me You say you, you say you hold it all the way down You say you down for me, hold it down for me You say you, you say you hold it all the way down for me, shut down for me. Okay, I give a fuck what you telling me. I really grind like it's ten of me. Saw drip, I got the recipe. And you can find me where that pressure be. I'm really trying to see Tel Aviv. Fuck your elevation. I've been levitated in the preparation. I've been meditated. I've been hella patient. I'm so tired of waiting. I got right here with my day. Y'all niggas from where that crevice be. I've been solid since the lesson me. I here with the sea, really in the field. Niggas on cam now. I got plants now. I'm finna branch out. Grew up quick, but never let go of this year. All of that bullshit is in my rear. Hey. Blue tin papers, blowing vapors, sweating traders Long hair killer in my villa, bitch, I made it hey, hey, hey. Used to play the play, now I think we made it now She wanna lay me down, I'ma need you Okay, lifestyle lovers, so I'm glad that I did that little small try-on haul for the shoes that I decided to keep Because these are going to the Goodwill When I put these shoes on my feet they immediately started throbbing and this is why when I make purchases as far as shoes and clothes it has to make sense you know I'm just I'm too grown to be walking around with being uncomfortable so these are cute but they're uncomfortable so these will also go in the Goodwill pile the other three pairs that you see me try on I will be keeping those and hopefully I can incorporate those into um, my fall outfits this fall or winter um so yeah so i think i'm gonna get me something to eat 
and then because the party starts at two but i probably won't get there until three so i'll check back in with you guys a little later so i just ate breakfast more like brunch because it's like one o'clock but i just wanted to kind of share with you guys what i've been enjoying for breakfast lately so <clears throat> i just had a bagel with some salmon cream cheese it's so good so this is what i had the like everything thomas bagel thins it's probably like three left because as you can see i've been loving them and then i've been spreading it with the philadelphia smoked salmon cream cheese and then sprinkling some more everything bagel season on top because the bagel thins are everything bagel thins so i just had that kind of like a light uh breakfast lunch because i'm quite sure when i go over to my sister's house she's gonna have a ton of food and i want to indulge i haven't decided what i'm wearing yet but oh you know what i also wanted to share um my vitamins that i've been taking so i just did like uh a shot of the b12 liquid so i just recently purchased these from walgreens they were buy one get one i've been having i've i've been had these these are the um emergency it gives you a thousand milligrams of the vitamin c chewables i need to take these and then i've been taking the echinacea i guess that's how you pronounce it but i heard that these were good for anxiety and it also supports um immune system so these are 400 milligrams per serving i've been taking like one to two a day but the directions says take seven a day it says as a dietary supplement for adults take one capsule seven times daily preferably with meals i have not been taking them seven times just one to two times a day and um and then i also have some immune elderberry gummies that i've been taking as well so just trying to stay a little bit more health conscious um you know just trying to practice good habits so yeah so i'm trying to decide what i'm gonna wear i'm gonna finish straightening up and then i'll get ready and once i'm ready i'll come back on talk to you guys so yeah i think i'm gonna wear this jean baby doll dress i think so i'm just gonna go ahead and try to see what i'm planning to wear today okay lifestyle lovers so what i actually did was i pulled all of my pants out of my closet for the sake of time i didn't record it and i didn't actually feel like thoroughly going through that stuff it just it takes a whole day and i, I don't feel like it today but um i came up with these are three pants that i definitely are going to take to the goodwill this is like a pair of lavender liquid jeans that i purchased from jc penny a long time ago but i know i will never put these on these are a pair of true religion jeans that are not very flattering it's like a boot cut fit definitely don't want those and then this is I did try these on and they're a no-go. So just to kind of give you an idea of what my closet look like, looks like, I am going to change the hangers out to the soft felt hangers as a uh, space saver. But I just want to, like I said, organize everything first. All of that stuff, I don't know what's in them. I have to go through all of this. And so I did separate my clothes i know it doesn't look very organized but it makes sense to me these are work dresses these are winter dresses these are casual and i guess club dresses these are jumpsuits these are uh i guess club pants or something that i would not wear to work work pants and then jeans and i uh tub of clothes i need to go through a bag of clothes i need to go through so it's just a process 
it is most definitely a process but the key is to start it so this is what i think i'm going to wear today to the to the football party which is like a jean baby doll dress so i'm going to wear that right now i'm going to go get my my son and his friend some pizza he actually asked could he go to a halloween party uh for teens and it was an affirmative affirmative no but um i did let him know that he could have a friend come over for a couple of hours i would get them some pizza they could hang out chill play the game while i go to my sister's house but um i don't i never allowed my daughter to do teen parties or clubs or stuff like that i just i don't trust that stuff so i'm gonna make sure i get them squared away so when I come back on, I'll be ready to head to my sister's house. But I think I got a lot done today. I'm washing my linen, so my bed is just a mess. But I did get pretty much quite a bit accomplished today. And I'm grateful for that. So I am dressed. I'm ready to go out the door. I have my makeup done. And I am wearing my jean baby doll dress. I'm going to switch the camera around so I can share the full look with you guys. So, okay. So this is a jean baby doll dress. It has pockets. Um, and then I'm am doing my tennises, my sneakers. These are my Steve Matt and Maximer sneakers in the color rose gold. So I'm gonna be honest, I do not purchase for many online boutiques, but Sweeney style is where I purchased this dress from. I absolutely love her clothing. The quality is impeccable, so I purchased a lot of stuff from her site. So I will link that um, below, but it has like a little ruffling detail, detailing in the back that you can, that if you can see it. And so, and I'm just going to tote my Tory Burch, it's a cross body, just a neutral, you know, just a neutral purse. And then I have on some orange <laughs> lipstick. As you can see, oop. As you can see, I'm representing the Gators with my colors. But this is by Milani. It is, I can't see. I think it says Sweet Nectar 01. The color has, the um, name has kind of started to fade. So yeah, so let me get out the door. Because it's probably about half time. Um, for the game, but I'm gonna get out the door. I'm gonna stop by Goodwill drop that stuff off and then I'll see you guys at the party Okay, lifestyle lover, so I just made it to my sister's house I I've been in and everything and told everybody hello, but I just had to show you she was serious about this Florida, Georgia So look at her door She has the door is orange She has her welcome uh welcome gator sign on her door which she said the door is not just for the party so i guess she's keeping it like that she has her florida georgia let me see can you guys see that she has the blue and the florida why i keep saying florida georgia the gator flag orange door gator welcome sign so let me take you to the backyard. <laughs> My sister has a beautiful, beautiful home. But let me show you <laughs> the entire setup. I was like, girl, I got to turn on my camera and get this for my lifestyle lovers. So she has the I'm going to flip the camera around. Okay, so this is the basketball court. She has the blue and orange basketball court. Oh. So this is, what's the name of this game? Uh, beanbag. They say the name of the game, beanbag. So she has the beanbag game. Then we have the picnic tables. That's my nephew, Ferris. What kind of game is this? 
you, you throw to me again. If you, if you make it, you win. Oh, okay. Mm. And then we have, what is this? Is this Jenga? Yes. Oh, okay, so we got the Gator Jenga. My sister was serious about, about this gator. This gay Florida uh, gator party. Okay. So you got gators, gator dominoes, dominoes, gators gator. connect four. Got my nephew Carter. Show him your shirt. You representing them gators today? All right. And Paw Patrol on your feet. Uh -huh. All right now. So let's go inside. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on the low. Trapping out of where I live. I keep seeing the leaders doing less. We talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me school. Nobody here but me and you. Got a little ring to it, turn that thing fluid in the cool. Why you look, I know it's real. I'm on my Marshawn shit. I've been really getting a feel. You know why I'm here. Don't act like you don't know how I feel. But let me tell you what you mean to me Slide on me for that mean greet Vibe with me on the moonshine Sipping moonshine to the new sky Taste toasted and be race soak In the raincoat Hit the waves quota I be flossing I be locked in What's lost here? All that turned me to a target Splatting on me I be cautious Back then I was an adolescent Then I had a lesson I'm the man now I got fans now I'm on cam now I got plans now I'm finna branch out Grip quick but never let go of this here All of that bullshit is in my rear Send me, saw so trip, I got the recipe. And you can find me where that pressure be. I'm really tryna see Tel Aviv. Fuck your elevation, I've been levitated in the preparation. I've been meditated, I've been hella patient. I'm so tired of waiting. I got right here with my day. Y'all niggas from where that crevice be. I've been solid since the less of me. I hear with the sea, really in the field. Niggas on cam now, I got plants now. I'm finna branch out, grew up quick, but never let go of this here. All of that bullshit is in my rear. Hey, blue tin papers, blowing vapors, sweating trailers. Long hair killer in my villa, bitch, I made it. Hey. Used to play to play, now I think we made it now She wanna lay me down, I'ma need you to hold me all the way down Hold it down for me, you say you down for me you say you, you say you hold it all the way down Hold it down for me, hold it down for me you say you, you say you Hey lifestyle lovers, so it's probably a little bit after 12 a.m. But I'm back home, I'm getting ready to take my shower and go to bed so i wanted to go ahead and close out the vlog i know i could have closed it out um at my sister's house i don't i don't know how much footage that i'm gonna have but we had a good time so i just came back on to close out the vlog i just wanted to let you guys know to enjoy your sisters enjoy your brothers enjoy your nephews your nieces your family your friends um, tonight was a good night. You know, we, this will go down in the, what is, I guess, memory tradition because we had, we had a really good time. I enjoyed all of my family and I just wanted to just come on and remind you guys to just enjoy your family. Just and cherish, cherish the memories that you guys may have, whatever it may be, whatever traditions you may have, whether it's for football games or holidays, or birthday parties, whatever. But I'm tired. I wanted to um, formally come on and close out the vlog. Next time I see you guys, I may be on my business trip. So I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye.